in this semester we are going to discuss deep learning you guys already studied ai and machine learning in your previous semesters in this deep learning we are going to discuss neural networks how actually neural networks will be trying building deep learning models then optimizing that deep learning models with various techniques then we will see convolutional neural networks and recurrent neural networks after that we will see some unsupervised deep learning techniques like gans and auto encoders let's see what is deep learning deep learning is also part of this machine learning family but which is based on neural networks especially deep learning algorithms involves neural networks with multiple layers between input layer and output layer that is why we will call it as a deep learning here deep refers more number of layers we already know this three ai ml and dl provide some intelligence to machines so that machines can take decisions like humans ml is subset of artificial intelligence and deep learning is subset of machine learning let's see what is exact difference between ai ml and dl artificial intelligence techniques provides intelligence to machines so machines can perform tasks like humans like they can understand language they can recognize objects and sounds like humans any technique which provides intelligence to machines comes under artificial intelligence including machine learning and deep learning machine learning algorithms recognize complex patterns and make intelligent decisions based on data without explicitly program simply we can say that achieving ai without explicit programming we can get ai without using machine learning but it requires millions of lines of code to solve some problems so instead of hard coding routines with specific instructions to solve the problems we can train the machine learning algorithms with data here training means feeding huge amounts of data to the algorithm based on training examples algorithm will make rules in other way we can say that machine learning algorithm will write program for that specific task example task can be recognizing objects in image or video machine learning algorithm will build model based on training data once model accuracy is high enough that model can be used for prediction purpose deep learning also does the same thing recognize complex patterns from the raw data and also which is based on deep neural networks deep learning is one of approaches to machine learning other approaches including decision trees inductive programming clustering reinforcement learning and bayesian networks this list is not exhaustive deep learning is based on artificial neural networks inspired by human brain in artificial neural networks nodes are artificial neurons arranged as a layers each layer extract specific features such as edges curves based on this features they will detect the exact object as i already told you deep learning algorithms involves neural networks with multiple hidden layers between input and output layers this is the simple neural network here we have here we have single hidden layer here this one is the deep neural net here we have three hidden layers in simply we can say that deep learning is machine learning technique with deep neural networks actually why do we need this ml based systems there might be certain task which cannot be programmed as there are no relevant logics describing that task even if we know the logic to write the program the program might be very complicated for example if we take the problem computing the probability of credit card transaction fraudulent it will be very complex and fraud is moving target so our program needs to keep changing instead of writing programs by hand for each specific task we collect lot of examples with input and corresponding outputs machine learning algorithm will take the input and output data and builds the model for us means it will write the program based on given input data machine learning systems without task specific programming improves the learning ability if data changes program can change too by training on new data they are most useful in applications they are difficult to express with traditional computer programs prediction of stock prices 
which movies a person likes, recognizing language, recognizing facial expressions. All these problems can be best solved by using learning than rule-based programming. We already know this machine learning paradigms, but let us see quickly. We have supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning builds model from label training data. In supervised learning, we will feed the algorithm with input and corresponding output values. Some of examples are regression, decision trees, random forest, KNN, SVM, Navi Bayes, and logistic regression. Unsupervised learning finds the relevant patterns in unlabeled data. Here we will give only input and we will not give the output labels. Some examples are a priori algorithm, K means, and deep learning, GANs, and autoencoders. Third one, reinforcement learning. Algorithm learns to react to the environment on their own. For example, if we take the robot, robot falls while walking on particular surface based on the experience, it will try to adjust before taking next step. Means falling down or successfully taking next step is reward. Based on that reward, it will adjust before taking next step. Means whether to move slow or taking small steps. Let's see the difference between traditional machine learning and deep learning. Suppose if we want to predict the gender based on audio, in machine learning approach, domain experts needs to identify required audio features like MFCC, ZCR or spectral features. These features needs to be extracted from audio that feature needs to be given as input to the machine learning algorithm. Then only this machine learning algorithm will perform the classification task efficiently. Whereas in deep learning, we can directly feed the raw data into the deep learning algorithm. This deep learning algorithm, neural network, will extract the features and does the classification. Here we require minimal human interaction than machine learning algorithms because here feature selection will also done by the deep learning algorithm. So deep learning is very useful in tasks like computer vision, natural language processing, audio and video processing. In next class, we will see some introduction to neural networks.